Structural engineering with architecture, it's mostly structural engineering, which is buildings and bridges. And we try to teach them enough architecture that they'll understand where the architect is coming from. So the architect will design the layout of the building. The engineer will work on making sure it can stand up. It can take the worst storm you can throw at it. The fact that, that you're studying structural engineering with architecture here in UCD, where we do architecture as well, means you're sharing classes with them and you're actually building your network, your future professional network, right from the days when you're a student. In secondary school, I was really into applied maths, physics. The way I got into engineering in first year was because I knew I didn't want to do medicine, do law, do business. So that kind of left engineering as the only real open-ended one. At the end of first year engineering, you're asked to narrow down your discipline. It was kind of a toss up between civil versus structural. Some work experience I had from transition year. I knew civil engineering wasn't really for me, so that kind of only left one option. First year is mostly about catching up. You're doing a lot of stuff that you already did in Leaving Cert, uh, but not everybody has done all the subjects we, we expect. I really like the analytical part of my course. So I like having a system that I can work off and figure out problems around that. And another huge aspect that I really enjoy is the group work that comes with engineering. Our course is accredited with Engineers Ireland. The qualification is recognized in the United States, Canada, Australia, Japan, China, a lot of countries around the world. Pretty much everybody does work experience. The industry is absolutely flying out there and they're very keen to take on our students. So you do about eight months. So one semester plus a summer, very good practical experience. And students come back with a renewed sense of enthusiasm because now they realize why they've been learning all that stuff. I'm currently looking into a structural engineering graduate position in Madrid. I know some of my friends are looking at Australia and Dubai in America. You can go anywhere in the world. There's always going to be somebody building a house or a road or a bridge. And anywhere that's happening, you need at least one structural engineer. We have a huge infrastructure deficit in Ireland. We've become a wealthy country. We need a lot more infrastructure. We need buildings, we need roads, we need bridges. And we also have the carbon challenge. So now we're designing more in timber. We're basically finding uh, more efficient ways to do things. So we need you to innovate and find new solutions. I went to other universities open days and the campuses were far more enclosed. There's so much space in UCD. Coming from Sligo, it's like a whole new town, but self-contained. You've got your shops, you've got your restaurants nearly, and there's about 15,000 people living here. So it is like I've relocated to a new town rather than just I'm going to school somewhere else. I'll always remember the first time I found the Secret Lake because I could never find it again for about a year and a half after that. So I couldn't remember the path from my house to the Secret Lake. So it took me about 18 months to find it again. My advice to somebody embarking on this journey would be enjoy it. Enjoy their life, including the social life as well as the other stuff. Try to go to all your lectures or most of your lectures and make good friends.